Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you Gelato Tutorial for Beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out these other just on this video. Let's get started. So if you want to use Gelato here for the first time and you're not sure how to exactly use it, well, this one is going to be the video for you. So first is first is you want to go to Gelato.com and just basically access their website. Now, in order for you to start using the platform, you first need to create your account. So at the top right, you want to go and click on Sign Up for free. And from here, it should redirect you to the sign-up page, which should give you different options. Now, if you're not aware yet, you could actually use your Google account or your Facebook account or your Apple account to sign up into Gelato. Now, obviously, you could go and use it or sign up via the manual way here if you want to. But since we want to access it via our Google account, let's go and choose Google. Now, from here, just choose your email address or your Google account and confirm a few things. Let's go and click on continue. Now, once your account has been created, it will redirect you to the uh, onboarding page for Gelato. So it's first going to ask you a bunch of questions here to really uh, shape the experience you're going to have right now on Gelato to what you are trying to do. So for example, let's go and choose just exploring here. Click on next. Like you go and choose where your customers are located. So you could go and just sell worldwide if you want to. But for now, let's click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you what products are you interested? So maybe we are going to select clothing here or in maybe like drinkware now let's go and choose clothing here as a basic let's go and click on next now from here what is your yearly revenue of your e-commerce uh store here let's go and choose zero for now and click on next now what brings you to gelato so let's go and choose expanding my product range here click on next now why do you hear about us like you go and just use uh whatever here let's just say we've uh seen this in social media let's go and click on next now from here once you've done that it should basically finish your account. So let's just wait for a while here. Now let's go and choose YouTube here. Click on finish. And again, let's just wait for a while. And we are now inside the platform. Now inside of uh, Gelato here, there are a lot of things uh, that you could do here. So at the left side, this is the basics. So you have your home, which would contain the general information that you may want to know and see regarding your account. So what's the best sellers right now? Uh, also the onboarding steps that you need to do or complete here and all those good stuff. But if you cho choose the product catalog here, this will basically redirect you to different products that you may want to start uh, customizing. Like for example, they have shirts in here. They also have like uh, premium matte paper posters, uh, uh, classic semi-glossy paper posters as well. So if you want to uh, basically uh, review what type of products that are training right now in certain parts of the world or if you're uh, specifically selling on a specific country only so yeah if you click on orders here this is basically where your orders are going to be so that includes uh like for example uh the orders that you receive so if someone like order from your store this is where you should be able to see it now if you click on stores here this is where you can connect different stores like for example you can connect your shopify store or your Etsy store here. So basically they have their own app that you could basically uh, install. Like for example, if you click on Shop for Shopify here, click on connect, you could go and just install this into your store. If you're not logged in, you may need to log in first at the top right here. But yeah, so you could go and install the app itself in your Shopify store. Now, same thing with Etsy here. You just need to allow or let Etsy access or uh, Gelato here have access to your Etsy account in order for you to start using it. So yeah, so this is a way for you to connect your stores. Now, if you click on Personalization Studio, this is where it makes uh, personalization for uh, easier for you. So basically, it simplifies the creation and, and sell of personalized items. So basically, if your customer likes to customize, like add a name on products, like for example, uh, personalized text on a uh, mug or personalized photos on certain uh, products and even like add like a certain uh graphics into collections here or whatever so basically it's uh, a way for you to integrate personalization which is a great way for you to uh, let or give freedom to your customers now if you choose templates here this is where you should be able to see your templates now if you want to save time on creating uh products for you you could go and just uh create templates in here so every time like for example if you want to have a specific design and you're only changing one aspect of it one at a time this is where you can basically save your templates and again reuse it and reuse it again and you should be able to uh create multiple products and without you having to repeat the whole process over and over again now, you also have the branded packaging here, which should allow you to 
add some branding into your product. So this is a great way for you to like really uh, say that, hey, this is my brand and this is my designs. So yeah, so you have like branded labels and packaging inserts here. Like if you want to say thank you, uh, thank you, or if you want to give them like, uh, for example, um, some 30% off or some sale or whatever you want to do. Now, if you want to, if you choose product for this one, this is where you should be able to start creating your uh, branding projects. Now, if you want to see like the analytics for your store or how your account is doing, like the number of orders, uh, product countries here, total cost, this old products you have, this is where you should be able to view it. Now, there are a lot of other subs here, like for example, Price Navigator, which should allow you to uh, navigate or use the feature for basically uh, adjust the pricing or get better pricing here to basically grow your revenue. So yeah, you also have like mockup studio here if you want to access that. But this is quite new, so you could use like a uh, magic mockup here for AI, using AI to generate that for you. But obviously, if you want to use this one, you may need to subscribe to to their Genato Press growth plan in order for you to access it. Now, also, if you access the developer option, this is where you should be able to see like API documentations, API keys. So if you want, if you are a developer, this is where how this is how you use it. But since we want to create a product, let's go and click on create product at the top right here. And let's go and choose the single product option here. Now, if you want to choose multiple products, go ahead. But let's go ahead and just uh, basically create one. Let's go and click on create template here. And let's go ahead and choose one product. So for example, maybe I want to design a product here. Like for example, this shirt here. Let's go and select this one. Now, it should direct you to the page where you can start creating or designing your product. So first is you need to design it. Now, the design process here is quite easy. If you want to take a tour first, you can go ahead and do that, but let's go and skip this for now. Now, from here, there are different phases of your product. You have your front, you have your back, you have your inner neck area, the outer neck area, left sleeve area, right sleeve area. So this, this are, these are the sections that you could basically adjust. So by the way, at the right side this is where you should be able to uh, basically apply your changes on uh, all variants here. So uh, you could go and just uh, basically uh, unlink that if you want. So yeah, but we are going to link this so we don't uh, have to change everything uh, one by one. So in here at the left side, this is how you choose or add your design. So first is your product. We've already chosen that. So files, it actually shows you all the files that you currently have right now. So for example, I'm going to choose choose file here. So I'm going to choose my device. And let's go and just upload one photo here that we may want to use. Now, obviously, it depends on what you want to add in here. So maybe I want to use um, this one as an example. Click on open. And as you can see, that photo is now added into my files. Now, the thing with files here is you can actually add it in your design. Like, for example, let's go ahead and drag it in here. Let's go, ahead, uh, by the way, you could just drag and drop uh, certain items or images in here. Let's go and drag it in here. As you can see, that photo will now be used in here. Now, by the way, there are like certain uh, things that you need to keep in mind. Like, for example, if this, the photo itself the, uh, has like low uh, DPI, it's going to uh, basically uh, say or inform you about that. You're going to click on auto enhance image here in order for them to enhance the image so that for better print quality. So obviously, if you have like low DPI, the print quality is not going to be that good. So it's recommended that you uh, use or uh, add photos that are have enough DPI. Now, also, you have their templates here. Now, if you have like saved, save, uh, saved designs before, this is how you access it. Now, graphics here are different graphics that you could use for your design here. Like, for example, at the back, maybe we want to add something spooky. Let's go and click on Halloween and see all here. And maybe I want to say I want to add a ghost. Let's go and drag it in here. Now, from here, you could go and just resize this. As you can see, you could go and resize this. You can even like rotate it if you want to. Let's go and make, maybe rotate it in here, like for example, this one. Now, by the way, there are boundaries in here. So this is a square area, this or the design for the shirt. So it's going to crop everything that is outside in here. Now, maybe I want also want to add this one. Uh, sorry, let's go and just use this one. Let's go and choose, I've, I've, I think I made something. Let's go and just revert this here. And let's go and uh, click on the empty area first. Drop and drag the photo in here, this one. And maybe I want to add one final piece here. Let's just say it's going to be this one. And it's going to resize this. So yeah. So once you are good with this one, you also have the layer section. Now layers here is a great way for you to like really specify how it's 
going to look like. Like for example, you have side above ghost three here. So if you change it up, like put ghost above that one, so ghost will be seen, and the uh, Sal Salem uh, photo or drawing here would be at the back. So it's a great for you to like manage how things are going to look like. Also have your layouts here if you want to have any uh, it any specific layout. You also have the personalized section if you want to like enable like a certain sections here like for example ghost three or what so customer settings here obviously you could go and just uh, turn them on if you want uh also you have like collections so uh you should be able to use or create collections here so give customers the power to change elements in your design so yeah so if they want to change certain elements in here you're going to create your uh, uh your a section for collections but once you are done with your design you go and just click on continue to mockups at the top right here and it should show you what it's going to actually look like so these are mockups how they would possibly look like at uh, people so it might take a while for it to load up but once it's actually loaded up in here you should be able to see it uh, on models now as you can see right now this is what it looks like on a model here so yeah so if you're good, you can go and just download them as well. So you can go and just select all of them if you want, like uh, all of them if you want it in here. Obviously, you can't you can't download everything from here because uh, you may need to uh, get the plan. As you can see, there's like crown on it, so it's available on Jail Plus. But there are going to be free ones in here, as you can see right now. Or you could go and choose uh, the file format as well. But if you're good, you can go and click on Continue Details at the top right here if you don't want to download those. Now, once you continue to details here, you should be able to see like how what the title is going to be, the description, also the size charting here, as you can see right now. And if you click on continue to prices, this is how you manage your prices. Now, depending on the size itself, the pricing may be different. But once you're good, uh, or if you want to adjust this, like for percentage, like if you want to change this, like for like uh, type of amount here, like fifty percent, uh, your profit margin here, you go and do that. Click on update. But if you click on continue to review, this is what it's going to finally look like. So these are like information that you may want to know. Let's go and click on save template. It's going to say enter your template name below to so it's easier to find and use it. Let's go and click on save. And as you can see, it's now going to allow you to order a sample uh, for your product. So I can go and click on order a sample now if you want to continue that and see how it looks like uh, in, uh, in reality here if you want. Now, if you want to add this to your store, just click on the Add to Store option. And obviously, you need to connect your Shopify store or your Etsy store here in order for you to get started. But yeah, so that's about it. So those are the basics in order for you to get started here with Gelato. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.